Salutations, respected viewers. I'm George from Ireland. Here I am in the Science Museum in London. So this is the South Kensington area. Come to South Kensington Tube Station and there's a long uh, underground corridor leading right here. If you like the price, admission is free. So it's got all sorts of um, artifacts, what a bit of word, machinery. It concentrates heavily on the Industrial Revolution. So you go back to the 18th century and the Industrial Revolution began here along with the Agricultural Revolution, the Transport Revolution, meaning that by 1800, the United Kingdom was the first industrialized country and really led the world in science and technology. But um, steam power created here by the estimable, or should I say estimable, James Watt. That's why we measure electricity and energy in uh, watts, in kilowatt hours because of him. Uh, anyway, obviously in the 19th century then, the United Kingdom was overtaken by the 1870s. The United States had recovered from the Civil War and the United States was producing more uh, manufactured products, more advanced technology, and completed the railway across from the Atlantic coast to the Pacific coast without stripping the UK. Um, anyway, British railway engineers and navvies had gone around the world building railways. They said this was the workshop of the world that girded the world with iron. And by the 1890s, Germany had also overtaken the United Kingdom in terms of industrial output, but often quality of products, price of products, greater innovation. And the scientific discoveries have been made there more than in this country. Russia was also breathing down Britain's neck in terms of industrial output. Then the First World War came around and knocked them back. But anyway, there are loads of things to see, often original items from various uh, workshops uh, and many, many inventions. They're all there, they're planes and cars and things like that. So it's quite interactive, quite child friendly, loads of explanatory, explanatory notes up. The price is free and it's in South Kensington, this area sometimes called Albertopolis, as in um, Prince Albert, named in honor of Prince Albert, because he organized the um, Great Exhibition of 1851 and the Great Exhibition Hall Crystal Palace in, in Hyde Park. And with the proceeds of that, the ticket sales, they bought this land, South Kensington, it was in a countryside area, to build the Science Museum, to build the Victoria and Albert Museum, which is just across the street. You can see it out the door, to build Imperial College London, Royal Albert Hall, the Natural History Museum, and on and on. So there we are, well worth coming along, even if you're not fascinated by science, not an expert in this field. That's it from the Science Museum.